What's up, bros, and welcome to part one of my new custom minifigure series, The Fusion Avengers. So, let's get down to business. Now for the first Fusion Avenger in today's video, we have a combination of the Black Panther and Thor. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Gamora from Avengers Infinity War. The torso is from Thor, also from Avengers Infinity War, with some dark blue arms and some dark brown hands. Pop that on, and then we're gonna take this dark blue cape, which I believe is from Excalibur Batman from LEGO Dimensions, and then we're going to take this Black Panther headpiece, which is from a really weird Black Panther minifigure from the Black Panther movie, and then we're just going to pop on these horns, which are for Black Panther. Pop them on. Now for Black Panther's weapon, I have a custom Stormbreaker, as a matter of fact. So we're just going to take this arrow piece, we're gonna take this brown stud and this brown piece right here, pop that on to the arrow piece, and we're gonna take this dark silver axe piece, pop that on, and we're also gonna take this piece right here, pop that onto the back, and then we have the completed Stormbreaker custom. And I wanted to make a Stormbreaker weapon for this custom instead of just giving Black Panther Mjolnir because, you know, it's much more original and I can actually build like a custom weapon, which is much cooler. But anyway, the backstory behind this custom is basically, I guess, T'Challa or Black Panther was worthy of Mjolnir and became Thor or something and then he lost his hammer or something and then he got Stormbreaker or something. Now for the second Fusion Avenger in today's video, we have a combination of Iron Man and Star-Lord. Iron Lord. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Iron Man Mark 50 minifigure from Avengers Infinity War, and so is the torso, but I replaced the just printless dark red arms with some printed arms from the Silver Centurion Iron Man minifigure. Then, we're gonna take this headpiece, which I believe is from Owen from the Jurassic Park movies, or just those dinosaur movies, I don't really watch them so I don't really know, but then we're gonna take this Star-Lord helmet, which I believe is from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and then we have the completed Iron Lord custom. I didn't really make any accessories for him because he doesn't really need weapons, so we're just going to give him these blasts. And uh, this custom is basically like a combination of Star-Lord and Iron Man. The custom is pretty self-explanatory, you can tell. Iron Man body and the helmet of Star-Lord. And I guess the backstory behind this custom is basically Peter Quill is Star-Lord, but he's also Iron Man. He just makes an Iron Man suit that has the Star-Lord helmet and he calls himself Iron Lord, maybe he, Peter Quill was just adopted by Tony Stark's parents, maybe? I don't know the backstory behind this, it's just something random that I made up, but yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the third Fusion Avenger in today's customs video, we have a combination of Spider-Man and Ant-Man. I guess his name is Spider-Ant. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Ant-Man minifigure that's basically black and red from the Ant-Man movie. The torso is from the Spider-Man Miles Morales minifigure from, I believe, like, 2019 or something. Not the original 2014 version, which is the first Miles Morales minifigure. Then we're gonna take this random headpiece, which I believe I got from a young Nick Fury minifigure, and then we're gonna take this Ant-Man helmet piece, which has like black and some dark red. Pop that on, and then we have the completed Spider Ant custom. Now, I guess the backstory behind this custom would basically be like 
Instead of finding Scott Lang to be the next Ant-Man, Hank Pym found Miles Morales and made him the next Ant-Man instead, but he's also Spider-Man, so he would basically be spider Ant, and he would have his spider abilities, and he would also have the Ant-Man shrinking tech. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. Now, I hope you bros enjoyed these Fusion Avengers costumes. I don't know when part two is gonna come out, but anyway, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make mocks, and of course, custom minifigures. Have a great day. See you bros.